A Brainerd man has been fighting a lifelong battle with diabetes that has taken his sight and kidney function, but not his hope. Becky Parker brings us his story and the message he wants to share with those living with diabetes. Kirk Nordstrom says he could have done better managing his diabetes. Well, I didn't really take care of it when I was a teenager or in my 20s, so I guess you could say I'm paying the price for that now. He was diagnosed at just 15 months old. Now at age 37, he lives in a nursing home. He did very well through the first few years, but as he got older and became a teenager, he didn't, wasn't that interested in taking care of himself. He wanted to be like the others. After a stroke in December 2008 that took his eyesight, he started living at Bethany Good Samaritan in Brainerd. His kidneys have failed, so he's on dialysis three days a week, three hours a day, while he waits for a living donor kidney. It makes me really weak and groggy. The Brainerd High School graduate used to have a more active lifestyle, working at Camp Jim near Pillager. I was a counselor there and I loved working with kids, so. At the nursing home, he doesn't see many people his age and he wishes he had more visitors. But he says his faith in God helps him get through it, particularly listening to the book of Job. But he lost all his kids, all his livestock, all his crops. Everybody except his wife and he never stopped believing in God and he questioned God, but he, in the end he got back I think 10 times as much because he was suffering. Nordstrom says he's working to regain the ability to walk and hopes to attend his 20-year high school reunion next summer. He urges others living with diabetes to take care of themselves. If you don't, it can have a really bad effect on you. Like, I'll be honest, I'm in pain quite a bit because of it. and I'm stuck here and I'm blind now. And that's really hard for me. And as he waits for a donor to come through, he plans for the future, hoping to go back to college and possibly become a youth minister. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. Nordstrom is looking for a donor with an A-positive blood type. If anyone wants to check if they are a match, you can call the University of Minnesota Transplant Center. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.